I feel like I should explain the fact that our toilet just like doesn't flush and it takes like 15 tries to do it and so I just did it for like 15 times and Laura just got it on the first time but I'm 90% sure it's because I did it 15 times before and no, and she just happened not. to do it the right I have the magic touch. The right, whatever. I have the magic touch. I also feel like I should explain the fact that the first thing I did in Cambridge was cut my hair off. Um, there were like three aspects to this, one of which was the fact that I was insanely lethargic from jet lag, the second of which being that I have wanted, I've been talking myself out of cutting my hair off for like three days now, and the third of which being I really wanted to just like meet somebody, and I did, and it was really cool, and my hairdresser was super sweet. Um, so. This is Haley, and she just gave me honestly one of the best haircuts that I think I've ever had in my life. She's wonderful, and she's gonna tell me her favorite place in Cambridge. Her favorite thing about Cambridge. Um, well, I think the street that we work on. So Green Street, Cambridge. This is Green Street, Cambridge? Yeah. And what is the name of your shop? The Main Lab. <laughs> and it is wonderful, so if you're in Cambridge, you should hit it up. <laughs> that's, that's that. I just kind of walked into this random shop on Green Street and I got all my hair chopped off and it's one of my favorite haircuts that I've ever gotten. I'm not kidding, like literally being completely serious. So yeah, that's that. It's our second day in Cambridge and we're gonna go on a walking tour and I'm so excited. Second oldest pub in Cambridge. They were serving ale here in the 1400s. Have you heard of William Shakespeare? He didn't come to Cambridge. He didn't go to Oxford either. But this is where they used to perform plays in William Shakespeare's time. In the inn yard. In the open air. Cole, what are we doing? We are touring Cambridge. With whom? Is it Janet G. Cop. Thank you. <laughs> You are a bit old, aren't you? You imagine in the 1200s a little boy of 14 travelling even from London to come here to university. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so amazing. This is the best fudge ever. I've no, yeah, that was, that was the best fudge I've ever tasted. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, spells the word backwards as well. It spells what? the word backwards? This was a yeah. palindrome. Okay. Um, is that what it's called? <laughs> no. no. Palindrome. It's not, it's not the same backwards. It's not the same. Oh, it's not the same. Oh, it's not the same. Oh, it's um, Yeah, a different word. Backwards. Matt. Tim? Sorry? Matt. No. Tim? No. no. Um, that is one word. It's a little bit backwards. <laughs> Oh guys, Tom, did we say Tom? <laughs> yeah, we did. R remember it to spells... come back shopping before you leave. Okay? <laughs> if you write it backwards, it spells a fish. Doc? <laughs> what? Right. I don't know. Uh, what? Doc? Oh wait, yeah. you are <laughs> A fish. Wait. Ducks? Oh, who just said that? Yep. Oh my god, you're a winner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we Yay! Oh, we can win that. <laughs> Lee. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, let me get in. Okay. <laughs> 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 
and he's gonna tell us his favorite thing about Cambridge. <laughs> or a fun fact. Oh, um, I don't really have any facts. I know that the fudge is really good. He's a really handsome man that makes the fudge. He's so handsome, girls throw themselves at him. Um, yeah, I get that quite a lot. But no, fudge is awesome. You should all buy some fudge. Yes. <laughs> what are we doing, Katie? Um, learning how to count money because I'm failing. <laughs> okay, so this is one pound, right? Yeah. Okay, and this is the five pence. So this is like a dime, sort of. This is two pounds. It's like a nickel. This is a nickel. Oh, the nickel. nickel. Five, not a dime. Like not a, a nickel. This it looks like a dime, dimes. but it looks okay. <laughs> and then this is kind of like a quarter, except it's twenty. So it's. Like, that was really good. Hey, where are we, Stephanie? We are at Crepe Fair. Yay! And it's fantastic. I guess I don't know. She didn't order anything. Uh, lemon. Lemon. Yeah. Oh, I got ham and cheese. Let me cut mine. It's so pretty. What kind did you get? Berry berry. Yeah. Like the baker. Like the baker. Yes. Yeah. Berry berry mm -hmm. from the Great British Baking Show. Look at you. She's my favorite. Yep. <laughs> so, what are we about to do? Gonna go in the tower. What tower? Do we even know? Saint know. Mary's Church what's Tower. Stephanie so knows. <laughs> Stephanie Stephanie's knows. a creep. No. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's a creep, Lauren? Someone who knows everything. Which is like so beyond. Which is Stephanie. But, no, but it's like not a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is in America. <laughs> Oh, it's so small. This is a very small little. These are thing. very narrow steps, y'all. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. How you doing, Lauren? I'm doing good. They're so small. Wait, was that all of them? No. No. Okay, I didn't think so. That wouldn't make sense. So all the things you can see <laughs> from the tower. And now are all the things. And now they're all the things. <laughs> here are the Cambridge things on paper, and here's the real Cambridge. <laughs> Okay. Oh, my feet okay, do ready? not I'm fit. Count the steps. Ready? One, two. Oh gosh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So 122. I thought she said 125. Oh, I probably miscounted. Did you miscount? The theme of like sticking random cities on things is apparently pretty universal. Did we actually leave or not? Nah? <laughs> I feel everyone who know that I just found these, and then I am exercising large amounts of restraint to not buy them. So that's it. Where are we headed? Stephen Hawking's house. Yeah. So this is Stephen Hawking's so house, and that's oh, that's cool. It says "Love Thy Neighbor" up there. Is it a pig? So Cole has a notebook that he keeps in his pocket and has been pulling out to notate random things that happen that he thinks are funny or memorable. And so we are now introducing a new segment called Notebook Moments with Cole. And so every day he's going to tell us his favorite notebook moment. What was your favorite notebook moment today, Cole? So today on our tour with Janet, she was talking about how there are these women that make the beds for the guys in college. And um, one of them was just happening to walk by as she was explaining it. And she asked the woman if she knew what the requirements were, and the woman was like, no, I don't. And Janet goes, well, there are three. You have to be a woman, old, and ugly. And the lady goes, well, I certainly hope not. I'm only a woman. <laughs> 
So that has no boogie whatsoever. It's supposed to do something when? Every hour. Okay. We're gonna see. We're not really sure what it is. Well, drop the chain on the coffin. Well, that's what we were yeah. told, but that doesn't really make sense, so we don't know. Yeah, well, you can't see it, but you can hear it. Here we go. She said. Here we yeah. go. Well, it says it'll be after every five minutes. So <laughs> oh, is that? Right now. Oh, it's doing a thing. So you hear the chain. That is theoretically dropping into a coffin to remind us that time is after as well. That is what we were told. I'm not just being a woman. I'm so confused. That was. So that was it. I was disappointed. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>